wow, wow. You remember that old Western song? Well, it, it's time to put it up because that the Wild West faction has finally made its introduction to tabs. Pull the trigger on that like button. Everybody head to the saloon and get some whiskey neat. But this is one of the coolest looking maps and I'm sure there's a secret unit lying around somewhere, but we got ourselves a situation here. And the sheriff ain't in town to regulate. We got ourselves an old school pissing contest. This man right here says he's the best unit in the new Wild West faction update. And Deadeye over here, well, she says she's the best because her gun go boom boom big time that's what she said but this guy he's known as quick draw so quick draw versus dead eye who's the best well in old western times you had to set yourself up you know you go 10 paces that way you go 10 paces that way so we're gonna have ourselves a draw oh yeah probably not since you've got a long range gun and if he's the best, we should give you a little bit of an advantage, right? What do you think? Oh, you're, oh, you're the strong silent type. Okay. Well, we've given a slight advantage to Deadeye over there. Quick draw here. He's going to walk off into the sunset? Sunshine? Sunset. <laughs> but only if Deadeye can win. So let's see how this goes. We're going to do it in a little bit of slow motion as Deadeye dramatically turns around. Now, look at this. Check this out, right? What is that over Quick Draw's chest? A target! Target locked! So, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, quick draw! His elusive is at like level 10 or something like that. Every time Deadeye tries to shoot, and look at this little repeater. Watch the reload animation, if we get to see it. Oh, that is so awesome! <laughs> well, you know, there can only be one best unit. So unfortunately, it looks like Deadeye is not the best, which we knew because look at this. We've got all kinds of new units. We got a dynamite thrower. A miner, Mr. Cactus Man, a gunslinger, a lasso, oh my god, on a horse too, that's gonna be epic. And then quick draw. So from left to right, least expensive to most expensive. I gotta say the cactus definitely reminds me of Totally Aggro Battlegrounds. Oh my gosh, the gunslinger is literally, is this a bug or a feature? Cause he's holding four pistols and he's got mutton chop beard, which is just awesome. And here's the lasso. There's a lot to see here. And I feel like the only way to truly understand the power of the Western faction is to have to fight them in combat. Wild West campaign. So how do we beat them? They got a lot of stuff over here. And I feel like I'm gonna bring guns. Wait, they got dynamite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use bombs. The pirates rolled into town, everybody. Guard the bank. I'm actually pretty curious to see how the dynamite works. Okay, the dynamite doesn't have a long range. Look at that. Thank you for doing that majestic cartwheel for our view and pleasure. Because look at this. These poor miners with their fantastic mustaches seem to be running straight for the dynamite. Oh man, they're actually very, very strong. So the miner's their melee unit, and the dynamite thrower is, I guess, their initial unit. But honestly, we didn't have too much of an issue. Pardon? The Florida Bird of Excuse me? I have seen the future. I think what they're trying to say is there's a secret unit in here, Baron. You're gonna need to find him. Baron, why, why are you talking to yourself, man? I mean, why are you talking to yourself? So, let's see these cactus guys. And yes, there's a secret unit, and we are gonna go find him. Two, two, that's just so much money. We don't really have the old school peasant strategy and old tabs. It's like, hey, honestly, you could solve most of your problems by just sending a massive amount of peasants at them. It was it was one of the best units, dollar per dollar. And the headbutters were also pretty good. We used to call them Velociraptor. And now we have actual Velociraptors. Oh, the cactus guys, as they're kind of playing chicken over here. Wait a minute. There's always a chicken in these levels, right? I wonder if there's one here. So do they explode or when they hit, do they just give them... We're going to need to investigate this because it looks like the barbarian strategy of just sending a bunch of dudes with sticks at them might not exactly work. I love the pickaxes. The pickaxes have a little bit of AOE going on. Yeah, we will have to try something a little bit different. So we're going to set up a firing line. And you know what? I know, I know, I know. With a cannon! And then one farmer to draw them in. So let's see. Uh, I, I didn't get to see how the cactus pointies... Okay, so when they first make contact, they shoot their spines. Okay, that's two. All three of them have fired their spines. So I'm not sure if that's a recharge or if it's a one-time purchase. The cannon just wrecked him. We will, we'll have to wait and find out. Cactus units gotta be one of the funnier units. You know, you, you love the meme silly units that Tabs does. It's what makes Tabs 
tabs. And I know what you guys are thinking, right? When you look at the Wild West units, you guys are thinking about some custom battles. Bringing them in, right? Because I would love to do some custom battles. So leave them in the comments below. And oh, this one's called... What's this one called? Bullets and Cacti. But we have... We have one of them and we have $4,500. I don't know why we have so much money, but we do. All right, so then my goal will... Tr oh, never mind. They're not on our team. We're surrounded. <laughs> Duh! All right, well, uh, that makes a lot more sense. But I think... Oh, my God. So here's these guys. Is that really... How, how do you have that? You should have, like, four hands like Goro. Come on, boys. <laughs> why are you shooting up in the... Wait a minute. He's calling in an orbital strike of pistols? Are you kidding me? That is not how I thought that unit was going to fight. But unfortunately, we only have the Pirate Queen left. Can you beat the three Cactus Brothers who are holding your brethren? Yeah, drop those bombs. That's a good way to take out the local flora and fauna. Oh, and they stick to them. Now, that just looks strange as they're, the pointy cacti are sticking it, but honestly, this one's going to the good guys. Kick him and then stab him. Carb the herdy flirty. Mr. Mutton Chops McGill, he is dead. And we are moving onwards. Oh, gosh. Okay, so there's three columns coming in of troops, and this is cactus and dynamites. What, over, what about over here? We got we got more? These are units we's already become familiar. What's the name of this town here? Baron Town. You see it? I can see it. Ha, <laughs> ha. $3,500 against this, huh? I think the best thing to do is to have these berserkers distract everybody while we call in the tried and true muskets. We'll make a circle. Get the wagon train and get everybody in here. And five halflings. Honestly, I'm not sure if the muskets are going to have enough fire rate to deal with the quantity of troops. But if the dynamite takes out some of their own units, then it's very possible. Oh my god. That's exactly what the berserkers need to do. Was just... <laughs> I love that when this guy gets explo when he gets shot spikes go everywhere now You know, there's a secret unit, right? So it doesn't look like we can go inside any of these buildings But where would it be like could it be this shovel a wagon a wagon? We'll just have to wait now. Can we put units up here? I mean, I know I'm gonna win So it's kind of like you know how you don't look at the explosion in the movies when you're walking away Well, I guess I didn't do that because we did look Oh my goodness, what is this unit? This is the... Wait a minute, guys. This is a secret unit in and of itself. We don't have access to it. It's a giant safe. Hold the phone. That is peculiar, to say the least. So I'm gonna bring knives to a gunfight. Or rather, knives to a safe. What does it happen when they throw the safe? Money's popping out, nice old greenbacks. And they just, they just explode? Yeah, they explode with money going everywhere. So, <laughs> that poor guy, he tried to get up and then he perished. I think it's time that the search starts for the secret unit. Because honestly, I'm actually kind of surprised we won this one. You guys did great. Do the little triple, like, victory dab dance. Now, where, oh, where is the secret unit at? Oh, we got something up in here? Wait, I actually am surprised that works. That's a secret unit. Ball and chain. Maybe there's more secret units than we might have initially thought. Hello, pretty cactus. Nope, nothing there. The way I like to think about it, if I was a burglar, where would I hide? I just robbed a bank, and the sheriff and his posse around town. Well, this looks like a nice little spot to search. And, oh god, that looks like a Gatling gun. Oh my lordy. Let's see. Oh, Gatling gun. Yeah, that's gonna be absolutely incredible. I can finally do... We stop your regularly scheduled program to try something out. I'm gonna go get this Gatling gun. Oh wow, there it is. $2,000. Rumor has it that the bank is holding a treasure. Very interesting. Sir, you don't want none of this. I will fire hot lead at you and you will cease and be amazed. Don't come at me. Yeah, run away. The bank, we will use the Gatling gun. Come on. Well, this is it. I'm sure the AI will do this a lot better than me. Oh, there we go. It takes a little while to wind up. Oh, you know, the Greek god of lightning just casually strolling through town. Get away from me. Oh! Oh my goodness. Now, I have to say this would not be possible without the help of Baron's Brigade on Discord. Look at this. Oh my god, we found a secret area of the map. Uh, it's making a weird sound. Uh, do we shoot it again? What is this secret? This is some next level stuff. It's, it's emanating a very, very strange sound. There is something very strange at work here. Now, what I'm curious about is if we... 
if we let this battle end, will this stay open? Did we do something? Are we finally getting secrets in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? Oh my god, yes. Okay, now my thinking is we use a dynamite guy. One of the things is... This could be some next level stuff, or it also could be a bug. But I don't know. All right, fire the dynamite. Run! I mean, kind of run. Oh, I have to write. I have to write mouse button to blow it up. Well, well, we need to begin asking the question: What is in this secret safe? Why is it making this strange noise? Because we cannot get into it. We don't know what is inside of it. All we know is guns and tobacco are for sale over here. But it makes you wonder if there's other areas of the map that are able to explode. Can we get into others? We can only assume that there's at least the possibility of more. We don't know what it is because I think that safe was actually this unit here in the bank robbing level. These guys who throw the safes I do think that. Now, let's see if our campaign map... Wow. Our campaign map hasn't been affected by what we did in sandbox mode. Well, now let's see the lassos, because this is one of the few units that we have not seen just yet. I feel like to see them showing off, I should just use a bunch of clubbers. We're surrounded in this western town. So let's see how the lasso guys do. Okay, they're running with their horses, and they've lassoed this dude around the torso. Now they drag him around town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay, so the lasso dudes are pretty epic. Just dragging the units that they've destroyed behind them. And I guess like that, the physics behind that would allow them to just swing them and probably knock over your formations. But remember, boys, we don't have to let them get too close to us. All right, you shoot that guy. You shoot that guy. We'll have like two guys up here, two guys there. And then we'll have the firing line right here. All right, I don't think this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, everybody fired at the guys that were close. We need to take out the lasso boys before we get here. Gentlemen, firing line. But I'm sure I can't wait to see what the modding community comes up with and honestly, what I can come up with in terms of mods. So if you guys got suggestions as far as which mod we should do next, let me know. Run, what are you slithering around like a snake for? You ain't a snake unit. Oh gosh, muskets were a bad choice. They're kind of expensive, so maybe they weren't the best choice. We gotta have a berserker to distract them, right? So here we go, archers and musketeers this time. So hopefully the berserker does do his due diligence by some time. The cactus guys blow their first charge there. So hopefully that helps out. Come on guys, you gotta take these dudes out. Yes, <laughs> they hit the horse and that lasso guy right as he was getting in. So I feel like this battle is definitely gonna go to the good guys, AKA us. Uh, cactus guys are pretty much invincible to arrow fire. I guess that serves as armor, but that's what the muskets are really for. Archers distract, muskets attack. Gentlemen, there are, there are four of you. Wow, these guys are super strong. Okay, one is knocked out. Run, ow! I got prickly pears. Oh, yeah. Needless to say, it's it's. We gotta protect the musket. Okay, here they are, gentlemen. Prepare shots. Can I get a headshot? Oh, chest shot works. Except, guys, help me. This is not going well. Oh, you missed your shots. You guys are absolutely atrocious at defending the motherland. The motherland is this area because we want to take it over. Okay, well, what do we do? We'll bring in the undead. I'm not sure if it's a good strategy to just bring in a lot of very fragile skelly warriors in, but they do cause fear, so it might help disrupt them, and then the fire archers and the candle heads might be, to be able to do a little bit at delaying them, which it doesn't appear to be the case right now. Who can stop this army? Maybe if we bring in a Hawacha with a few archers? And the Hawacha fired a scatter shot. Can he hit? He missed the horses. He hit this guy right in the head, so... <laughs> that guy's having a bad day. He was insta-headshotted by the Hawacha. We gotta keep the Hawacha alive. So I feel like I should operate it. All right. Hey, I got one of them. The Dynasty faction is coming to the rescue here. They're able to dodge projectiles. How do we do? There's one of them left, and we did achieve victory. Okay, so... We found the ball and chain. Let's go ahead and go back. Wild West, we've got the two new secret units. 
The bomb on a chain guy? Or the chain? Ball and chain. All right. What are you, what's your guy's story? Wow, they're actually rather expensive. So, a thousand versus a thousand fifty. Oh, this is, is this going to be like a mason chain? Where they swing it around? Because it looks like they're just jumping in there. They're not really swinging anything. They're just, they're swinging their... I was kind of hoping they'd swing it around like a goblin fanatic from like Warhammer. Yes, Warhammer and 40k would be an epic one. Oh, you know what we need to try? I think what we need to do is see if we can't turn this guy into a tornado. All right, so all those knights line up. Then we get a ball and chain over here and a bunch of cheerleaders. Does that enable him to go tornado mode? Because some units do, or will he just like swing faster? It doesn't look like he... This is not how I thought this unit was going to fight at all. So we got him in the Gatling Gunner, right? Oh, what's up, little head? I love when that stuff happens. All right, well, how about the heavy artillery? So this guy, let's see, what is his range? He's got to first get in range, and then he's got to start pumping it. And you'll notice that it just, it takes a while to get up to firing fast. One. See, listen to the fire rate. And now it just starts to get crazy. <laughs> yes! Oh, we're gonna have the fall of the samurai, or the last samurai with Tom. Tom Cruise? Tom Hanks? Dude, he's got an epic mustache. He's even got himself a little side piece right there, but it doesn't look like he, he uses it. He just uses the Gatling gun. So those are the secret units that we have. Let's have a little bit of a cavalry charge slowly come after. That'll be kind of interesting. Now, it depends on if they arrive at the same time. Gatling guns! To your targets! You you better start firing. Look at that, look at that cavalry charge in the back, man. It, it's... It's not looking good. Oh, cavalry is a very, very good uh, way to hit this. Now, one of the things I'm curious about, here we go. If I just start firing now, and you gotta keep left clicking, I think, and I'm holding it down as fast as I can, but it, yeah, maybe, maybe a modded one where you increase the range would be really, really cool. So those are the two units that we found, and then of course, there's this strangeness. So we'll fire some bomb cannons here to try to open it up again. There we go. Oh, we dented it. Okay. Oh, get get, get away from that wall. Yep. But behind this wall is the safe. And what's in the safe? I'm not sure if there's if this is a more complex Easter egg. But I love that the map is destructible. It kind of reminds me a little bit of our mod where we had the breaking bricks. The brick walls that broke. The breaking brick walls that broke. This is unbelievable. The bomb cannon is not the best one to use here. Well, thank you for watching. Let me know which custom battles we should check out in the next one using all of these new Wild West units. We found two secret units. There might be a third that has to do with this safe. And let me know which mods we should make now that we have all of this new stuff. I'm kind of... I kind of have a few ideas, but I'd love to hear yours. Thank you for watching another episode of Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. Pull the trigger on the like button if, if you want to see more tabs, and I'll see you guys in the next video.